Assalamu alaikum dear students how are you students i hope you all are fine now we are coming to our lesson today the topic is migration from makkah to medina this topic is from section life and importance of prophet muhammad peace be upon him and in this chapter students will be able to demonstrate the main events of holy prophet's activities in makkah and his experiences with his opponents his actions and character after the pledges of akaba family after family left for medina when the quraish came to know about this they increased their persecution on prophet muhammad peace be upon him and his followers meanwhile all the companions of holy prophet except Hazrat Abu Bakr Siddiq and Hazrat Ali Razila Taala Anhu succeeded in the in migration to Medina. The Quraysh held a meeting in which they decided that one person from each tribe would be selected, and that they would simultaneously attack the Holy Prophet and kill him. The Holy Prophet was informed of this plan by Allah. and was told to remember how the unbelievers plotted against thee to keep you in bound bounds or slay you or to get out of your home they plot a plan and allah two plans but the best of the planners is allah the holy prophet asked hazrat ali razila taala anhu to sleep on his bed and to return valuables and trusted to holy prophet by various people the prophet came out from house with the allah's protection at his side cast a handful of dust at the disbelievers and made his way through them while reciting the verses of surah yasin the next morning when hazrat ali razila taala anhu rose up He was inquired about Prophet peace be upon him and he explained to them that he didn't know himself this situation stunned Quraysh the prophet was led by Hazrat Abu Bakr Siddiq to the cave of Sor instead of the cave instead of the way to Medina after reaching prophet laid his head on the lap of Hazrat Abu Bakr Siddiq and fell asleep Meanwhile a snake appeared before them and Hazrat Abu Bakr put his foot on the mouth of the hole from where the snake emerged and it stung Hazrat Abu Bakr on it due to severe pain tears fell from his eyes to prophet Muhammad peace be upon him's face which woke him he then applied his saliva on the foot of hazrat abu bakr siddiq and the pain disappeared on the other hand makkans used all their strength and wisdom to track them down one day they successfully reached the mouth of cave and hazrat abu bakr siddiq got frightened the holy prophet said abu bakr silence what do you think of those to with whom the third is allah when makkan saw the cave they turned around because the entrance was covered with a cobweb and there was a pair of pigeons on the threshold this happened miraculously and it convinced the makkans that the cave was empty when they saw the branches of tree that covered the mouth of the cave nearby after this incident they departed from the cave and continued their journey meanwhile the holy prophet and hazrat abu bakr siddiq saw two isolated tents there lived an old lady who had a goat which couldn't give milk the prophet touched its order and it began it began to provide milk 
the party then refreshed by drinking milk and set to their journey to Medina. On 8th Rabiul Awal, 14th year of prophethood, Prophet reached Koba. They established the first Islamic mosque and also met Hazrat Ali there. The Muslims of Medina anxiously waited for Prophet but the heat of day forced them to return. One day, a Jew climbed up to the roof of a fort and saw the Prophet's caravan, dressed in white. He shouted about it and Muslims emerged from their houses and reached Holy Prophet with a great welcome. It fulfilled the prophecy of Torah that when the last prophet will enter in this city, it will be informed by a Jews. Now students, past paper question. The past paper question related to this topic was, give a detailed account of prophet's journey from Mecca to Medina in 622. Dear students, I hope now you are able to compose your answer of level 4. Thank you students with me. Allah Hafiz.